this is Joan Seed here, and I'm still doing the outdoors thing. But I want to show you something here. This in here is the bird. Okay, let's hope I get you in here. So, this here is the birdfoot plant. Now, this in there, there's another variety called the birdfoot variety that's purple. This one here is the yellow one. Now, the thing is, a lot of the farmers actually like raising this for hay for the animal stuff. But the fact is, is that this was discovered quite by accident here. Now, the only part it can be used on is, is the seeds. That's where it really got the bird foot name in. Because once it gets comes seeds, then it looks like a uh, bird's foot right here. So, the thing is, <clears throat> it was discovered quite by accident. There was a lady that went to the doctor back in, I don't know, 1600s maybe earlier than that. I can't remember the exact date on it So he told her to go get some clover to wash her eyes out with because she had a uh, problems with her eyes. Well, what she did is She harvested what she mistaken as Clovers right here as a mistake. She harvested these So what she did she was making a tea from it now this woman suffered from a nervous disorder. She had insomnia, she had heart uh, complications and stuff. And he found that by her drinking this tea that she made helped with her mood swings, it helped with her heart problems. It also um, helped her sleep. Now this here, it, uh, if you use a strong enough dose of the seeds, you can actually use it as a tranquilizer. So in a medical situation and with Mother Nature and stuff, harvesting these seeds could be uh, a benefit in your medical cabinet to help someone in a case of being an injury or something and then lots of pain and stuff. This will help induce sleep and allow them to rest and, and allow them to heal during the time. You know, you see them, I mean, a lot of people don't even talk much about it. They just talk about, well, it's a pretty flower. This is bird foot. <clears throat> Only part can be used is the seed pod. Now, the... What I don't really totally understand is the lady who harvested the flowers and stuff used them as a for a tea. So I'm assuming she used the flower part. Now they said that the seeds here, now I don't think that's the seeds yet, but when they do turn to seed here, you will they will look like a bird's foot, a three pronged bird's foot. So this here is bird foot. It is, the seed is the only thing you can use off of this. You harvest the seeds, you save them, you can make you some teas with them and stuff. Uh, now, like I say, if anybody knows for certain if I can use the flower or not, please let me know because I've read up and researched it again, but I'm assuming that this lady back in that time used the flower to make tea with. So that is what I'm assuming that she did. It doesn't really specify, it's just he told her to harvest some clovers and uh, use it. So I'm assuming that's what she did. She used this to brew up with. But most people just uses the seed pods for the purpose of uh, to help people with uh, stress and help people sleep with. So something else you learn new here. This is a uh, Joan seed right here, showing you a beautiful flower here of uh, bird foot. This is just one of the varieties, as you can see right here. It's another beautiful flower. So next time when you if you raise some. You decide to raise some of your own or whatever you're back in want to get back in nature think about raising some of these here now they can get away with you but if you know where you can harvest them when they turn the seed and save the seeds and stuff you can't go wrong on that so this is joan seed live prepper here doing her series join me and be safe be happy bless you all